Assalamu alaikum and good morning dear students. Welcome to class 5 mathematics. Today we are going to learn unit 15 handling data. What is data? Data is information. The word data is derived from Latin word datum means information. What is handling data? Handling data is how we represent the information. In this unit, we will recall bar graph. You will be learning to interpret circle graph, understand tally marks and interpret tally chart. To represent data on a tally chart and to understand and interpret line graph. Now let us begin with bar graph. A bar graph uses bars to represent data. This is vertical bar graph. Now we will revise bar graph using this example. The bar graph given below shows the marks obtained by the students in a test of 25 marks. In this bar graph, vertical scale represents marks and horizontal scale represents students. Use the graph and answer the questions. Who scored the list marks? Rita scored the list marks. Who scored the highest marks? Here as you can see, Samir scored 25 marks. So, Samir scored the highest marks. How many more marks did Samir score than Atul? Samir scored 25 marks and Atul scored 20 marks. So, 25 minus 20 that is 5 marks. So, Samir scored 5 marks more than Atul. How many students scored more than 20 marks? Samir, Lata and Ahmed. Three students. So three students scored more than 20 marks. This is horizontal bar graph. It shows sale of different items during a week. In this bar graph, items are shown using vertical scale and number of sold items are shown using horizontal scale. Circle graph. A circle graph is a graph in the shape of a circle which is used to show and compare information. Dear students, in class 4, you have learned to find fraction of a number. Let us recall it using this example. For example, to find half of 16, we divide 16 by 2. So, 16 divided by 2 equals 8. To find 1 fourth of 16, we divide 16 by 4. So, 16 divided by 4 equals 4. To find 3 fourth of 16, we divide 16 by 4 which is 4 and then multiply 4 by 3. So, 4 multiply by 3 equals 12. So, 3 fourth of 16 is 12. To find 1 eighth of 16, we divide 16 by 8. 16 divided by 8 equals 2. So, 1 eighth of 16 is equal to 2. Circle graphs show information in different parts and put them together to form a whole. In the table given below, main sources of energy in 24 towns is given. Fill in the table using 1 half, 1 fourth or 1 eighth. 12 towns main source of energy is coal. 12 out of 24 or 12 by 24 equals 1 half. So, 1 half of the town's main source of energy is 
कोल सिक्स टाउन मेन सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इज ऑइल सिक्स आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर और सिक्स बाय ट्वेंटी फोर इक्वल्स वन फोर्थ सो वन फोर्थ ऑफ द टाउन मेन सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इज ऑइल थ्री टाउन मेन सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इज सोलार सो थ्री आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर और थ्री बाय ट्वेंटी फोर इक्वल्स वन एट सो वन एट ऑफ द टाउन मेन सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इज सोलार सिमिलरली थ्री टाउन मेन सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इज विंड थ्री आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर और थ्री बाय ट्वेंटी फोर इक्वल्स वन एट सो वन एट ऑफ द टाउन मेन सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इज विंड नाउ लेट एस ट्राई दिस एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टीन ए दिस सर्कल ग्राफ शोज द हॉबी क्लासेस दैट फोर्टी एट स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फाइव चोज फिल इन द टेबल टू शो द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स दैट चोज ईच हॉबी नाउ लुक एट द सर्कल ग्राफ हाफ ऑफ फोर्टी एट स्टूडेंट्स चोज म्यूजिक एज देयर हॉबी सो हाफ ऑफ फोर्टी एट इक्वल्स फोर्टी एट डिवाइडेड बाई टू इक्वल्स दैट इज ट्वेंटी फोर सो ट्वेंटी फोर स्टूडेंट्स चोज म्यूजिक एज देयर हॉबी वन फोर्थ ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स चोज आर्ट एज देयर हॉबी वन फोर्थ ऑफ फोर्टी एट इक्वल्स फोर्टी एट डिवाइडेड बाय फोर इक्वल्स ट्वेल्व सो ट्वेल्व स्टूडेंट्स चोज आर्ट एज देयर हॉबी वन एट ऑफ फोर्टी एट स्टूडेंट्स चोज गार्डनिंग एज देयर हॉबी सो वन एट ऑफ फोर्टी एट इक्वल्स फोर्टी एट डिवाइडेड बाय एट दैट इज सिक्स सो सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स चोज गार्डनिंग एज देयर हॉबी सिमिलरली वन एट ऑफ फोर्टी एट स्टूडेंट्स चोज पेंटिंग एज देयर हॉबी वन एट ऑफ फोर्टी एट इक्वल्स फोर्टी एट डिवाइडेड बाय एट इक्वल्स सिक्स सो सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स चोज पेंटिंग एज देयर हॉबी टैली मार्क्स हैंडलिंग डेटा इज organization of information now let us learn how we can represent information using tally marks once the information is collected it has to be organized and put into tables while representing given data mainly large data we might do errors in counting to avoid it we use tally marks to represent numbers tally marks are used in the following way one vertical bar is 1 two vertical bars is 2 three vertical bars is 3 four vertical bars is 4 four vertical bars and one slanting bar is 5 five. 5 five plus 1 is 6 5 plus 2 is 7 5 plus 3 is 8 5 plus 4 is 9 and 5 plus 5 is 10 tally chart a tally chart is an easy way to record information using tally marks we record information as it is being collected once all the information has been collected we then count the total given below is tally chart of different pets dog 5 plus 2 equals 7 cat 5 plus 4 equals 9 fish 3 rabbit 1 and hamster 4 Now let us try this example of tally chart. Students of class five went to the school office 
to find out the different ways the staff came to work every day given below is the tally chart of modes of transport to school for office staff question 1 fill in the last column and answer the questions given below now look at the tally chart first bus 5 plus 5 equals 10 people by 10 5 plus 2 equals 7 people by car 5 plus 4 equals 9 9 people by using bicycle 4 people by walking 2 people question number 2 how many people are there in the school office 10 plus 7 plus 9 plus 4 plus 2 equals 32 so 32 people are there in the school office question number 3 which is the least popular way of traveling to office walking which is the most popular way 10 people go to office by bus so bus is the most popular way how many more people use the bus than bicycle 10 minus 4 equals 6 so 6 more people use the bus than bicycle now let us solve question number 2 from exercise 15b build a tally chart using these pictures in the given collection pictures of three objects are given pencils erasers and sharpeners let's start counting with pencils while counting for one pencil you mark one bar in the table after four for the fifth pencil one slanting bar and so on so 5 plus 5 Plus five, plus four, nineteen pencils. For erasers, five plus five plus four, fourteen erasers. Sharpeners, five plus five plus five plus five plus five equals twenty-five sharpeners. So. all together there are 58 pictures the information below shows the highest temperature in a city in the month of may over a period of 7 years this information can also be shown on a chart using dots now look at the chart the years have been shown along horizontal scale and temperature in degree celsius along vertical scale the vertical red dotted line shows year 2010 and horizontal dotted line shows 34 degree celsius the dot where the two red dotted lines meet represents temperature in the year 2010 similarly second dot represents temperature in the year 2011 third dot represents temperature in the year 2012 and so on children did you notice that on vertical scale there is a break between 0 and 30 that is because there is no temperature recorded between 0 degree celsius and 30 degree celsius and we do not need to show it on vertical scale children if you join the dots you will see how the temperature have been rising over the last 7 years 
this kind of graph is called a line graph a line graph uses line segments to show how data changes over a specified period of time dear students now let's answer the questions given below using this line graph question 1 what was the temperature in the year 2011 in year 2011 temperature was 36 degree celsius question 2 which year has recorded the highest temperature year 2016 so 2016 has recorded the highest temperature question 3 which two years have the same temperature year 2012 and 2013 question 4 by how much is the temperature risen from the year 2010 to the year 2016 by 8 degree celsius question 5 which year has recorded the lowest temperature year 2010 now let us practice question 2 from exercise 15c shishir planted a rose plant in his garden he kept a record of its growth with the help of a line graph answer the questions by looking at the line graph given below question 1 how tall was the plant when he planted it in september in september it was 10 cm tall question 2 what was its height in the month of march in the month of march its height was 30 cm can you estimate the height of the plant in january in january its height was about 23 cm question 4 how many cm did it grow from september to march in the month of september its height was 10 cm and in the month of march its height was 30 cm so 30 cm minus 10 cm equals 20 cm so it grew 20 cm from september to march dear students do this homework in the textbook with this we complete unit 15 handling data and portion for the annual exam wishing you all the best for your annual exam do well thank you